hello there okay so today vertigo treatment yes please like and subscribe we like that yeah it does help the channel it really does um so please do okay so today i'm making what we would call in england a bodybuilder's top okay so it's like a reverse scruffy t-shirt i'm going to paint a picture on the front using acrylics acrylics are great if you leave them to dry and i mean properly dry so i need to leave this probably for a week to dry then i can just wash it and it'll still be there and if you do get acrylic paint on your clothes then if you wash it out before it dries then it will disappear maybe i shouldn't have thrown that over there i might need it i might need it as a pattern <laughs> I might not I might not so what I've got here is um, really thick t-shirt fabric and um, what I'm gonna do is cut the arms really baggy yeah because when I'm painting not only is it very messy it's I need comfort level you know I need to be able to move um, yeah so and I need not to ruin my clothes now with that one I didn't use the pattern on the inside I think what I will do is use the pattern on this side so it's going to be grey on the body and the arms are going to be nice and colourful now, I only found out recently that these are eagles on the fabric. And, um, yeah, I do that way. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I thought they were parrots. But <laughs> apparently they're eagles. Okay, I'm just going to use this as a rough pattern. So, if you do have... I suppose to get the pattern of this, what you would need is just lay a t-shirt out flat and then draw around the t-shirt and then decide that cut it across the thing to do the arms so that would work very well <clears throat> or if you have a baseball shirt that would also work very well now I'm not worrying about the pattern being the wrong way or anything like that I'm just getting it done. I know <laughs> it probably sounds very strange to somebody who doesn't know me, but um, yeah, you know. Yes, because if I do get paint on my painting clothes, then in a way it's just augmenting it. And um, I like it. I, I, I. Yeah, you can go for very expensive boutiques in England and buy um, jeans with acrylic paint on and everything. So what I've got here is two arms and they literally are just triangles and we've followed the neckline along. So yeah, pure comfort and cover everything up so that, you know, I don't ruin my clothes. All right, I have some you here. And um, yeah, I'm going to leave the camera running and you can see how quick this sew is. And this is all to give you confidence to sew. So. I'm going to have the seams on the outside and the fabric inside out. So nice and confusing. Now what I might need to do is I might need to trim the neckline to make the neckline a bit smaller, um, to make the neckline a bit bigger. Okay, 
So I'm going to need the fold on the top <laughs> and I'm going to need the neckline at the neckline. So let's just spread this out and I'm not going to sew the arms up. Because it's tempting, you know, there's something in your brain that says, yes, you should sew the arms up. So I'm just taking the other corner of the shoulder and the other part of the front, matching up the neckline. Just giving that a little shake out. Because I want it to be scruffy, but I don't want it to be falling apart on me. So there we go. Lining that up in the sewing machine. Now normally when I decide to show you a full sew, I, um, I then run out of bobbin thread or something. You know, something silly happens. So I'm now the other side of the garment. Honestly, I really am. Here we go. So these are the other two points of the neckline. And I'll just sew this triangle in. No, I suppose I could call it a modern artist smock. Does that sound a bit better? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with that actually. <laughs> Sounds really pretentious, doesn't it? works for me and trust me I've ruined so many clothes um. okay let's get rid of the sewing machine okay so I'm gonna lie that on the table just so you can see it Now I might put a couple of stitches in the, whoa, no, I do have trouble with that, you know. I see it in the, because I see a mirror reflection of the table on the view screen of the camera. So there we go. Yes, a modern artist smock. And, oh, and you know, I do love painting the dragons and they are kind of my symbolism thing. But, um. Yeah, maybe I should paint a parrot on it, even though it's an eagle. Looks like a parrot. So, yeah. What's the best way to do this? Oh, so we're that way round. Oh, okay. That makes more sense, doesn't it? Oh, I don't know. All right, so I'll come back to the painting part. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. So hello there. Okay, so we're now on the second part. Um, yeah, so we made the t-shirt and you saw how quickly I made it and it is supposed to be really scruffy. And I've got, I've got this one on, yeah? Okay, 
I know, lots of camera shake, I'm sorry, I'm holding the camera. Now here we've got the tripod I normally use and I've got a, another camera, my old camera hanging uh, and it points down to the t-shirt. So you'll see every step of that. I also, if I turn that round like that, I can see what I'm pointing at. I did some practice cards. Now this is just for my benefit to choose what picture I was going to go for. And um, they're always handy to have cards around just in case you need them uh, yeah so we have a parrot and I thought that would be nice I could use lots of fluorescent paint but um, yeah it didn't turn out as well as I hope but we are going to go with Old Faithful here we're going to go with flamingos okay so I reckon on the grey they'll pop out a bit more and I can just use lots and lots of paint I have marked up where is in shot for the camera so yeah that's what those dirty blobs are but um yeah that's just for my benefit all right i'll be back
Hi, so we're all done. So lots of fluorescent paint, quite thick paint. It's going to need probably a whole week to dry fully before I put it in the washing machine. One thing I forgot to say is I've got some greaseproof paper underneath and uh, that's so it doesn't soak through because there's a lot of paint in there you need it quite thick and then it will last through the wash but slowly the paint will crack up and everything all right i hope you enjoyed this video and um i'll see you again bye <laughs>